And boys and girls, I have another story to share with you today. This one is called Bones, and this is a story about our skeletons or the bones in our body. Let's learn about our skeletons. Walk, jump, touch your toes, bend your knees, hold your nose. Any way you move, your bones are helping out. You have 206 bones in your body. That's a whole lot of bones. These bones fit together perfectly. Together, they form your skeleton. Did you know that underneath your skin, this is what your skeleton looks like? Every one of us has a skeleton. Kind of cool. Your bones are hidden under your skin. Maybe if you kind of touch your elbow, you feel that hard part, that's your bone. That's one of your bones. <clears throat> that's underneath your, the skin of your elbow. But you can feel them and see their shape. Like we just talked about. Your bones start out small, just the way that you do. As your bones grow, you grow too. <clears throat> the smallest bones are inside your ears. The biggest bones are in your legs. Can you feel the bones in your legs? Maybe your kneecap, that's one of your What other bones do you think you can feel? Some of your bone in the middle of your chest protects your heart. Your ribs are a bony cage for your lungs and other squishy parts. If you stretch to the side, boys and girls, you can feel your ribs. You feel those little bumps on your side. Those are the ribs underneath your skin that look just like that. The bones of your face are part of your skull. It covers your brain like a helmet. Keeps you very safe. Some people think skulls look scary. They like to wear skull masks on Halloween. But if you think about it, they're really not that scary because everybody has a skeleton inside their body. Long ago, pirates used a flag with a skull and crossbones on it to frighten people. Today, a skull and crossbones means danger or poison. When you see it, be careful. So if you see that symbol on something, you should not touch it. Your bones do not bend. So they are joined in places where you need to bend, kind of like your elbow or your knee. These places are called joints. Your spine or backbone, if you run your hand along your back, you can feel this, feel this. Your backbone has many joints. It helps you to stand up straight or do a somersault. Our bones work with our muscles to make our bodies move. Can you make a muscle? Urgh. Bones are hard and strong, but sometimes they break by accident. Luckily, the broken parts can grow back together. After many weeks, your bones are healed. Have you had, ever had a broken bone or maybe somebody in your family? Yeah. It takes a long time for them to heal, but eventually too. Some old bones turn into fossils after a long, long, long time. Fossils tell us a lot about animals that lived long ago, like dinosaurs. Many animals have bones like ours, but their skeletons match their shapes and sizes. Toads and goldfish have much smaller bones than we do. You can see they're very tiny skeletons down there. There's a human skeleton looking at them. Elephants and whales have much bigger bones than we do. You can see our little human skeleton down there and how big elephant and the whale are. Some animals have no bones at all. Jellyfish and worms wiggle and squiggle without them. If you had no bones, you would look like a blob. So when you run or stretch 
or grab or chew, think of your bones and say, thank you. The end. Wasn't that an interesting story about our bones? Well, I have a little activity to kind of show you what you would look like without your bones. So what I have here is just a little bit of Play-Doh and I'm gonna roll it out. You can do this with me if you'd like. You can pause this video and go get some Play-Doh. So I'm gonna roll out my Play-Doh, nice and long, just like that. I'll make a little foot for our guy. I'm gonna try to stand this up and we'll see if he can stand on his own. Cause right now he's very squishy. He doesn't have any bones inside his leg. We'll pretend this is a little guy's leg. He doesn't have any bones. Do you think he's going to stand up or do you think he might fall over? Hmm. I wonder if he'll fall over or if he'll stand up on his own. Let's, let's find out. Let's see. Oh no. He, he can't stand up by himself. Even if I hold his foot up, he just falls right over because he doesn't have any bones. So I think we should give him some bones to help him stand up. I have a little Allen wrench here. You could also use a pencil or maybe a pipe cleaner. You could ask your mom or dad what you could use as bones for your Play-Doh person. But I'm going to use this little wrench here. I'm going to form in around his bones on the inside. And now I can't bend his leg because he's got that strong bone in there. We'll even out his leg a little bit. Now, do you think this is going to help him stand up? Or do you think he's going to fall down like he did when we didn't have a bone inside the Play-Doh? Hmm. Stand up or is he going to fall over? Let's see. Let's test our prediction. Give him a nice flat foot there. Look. <laughs> he falls or he doesn't fall over. He wants to lean a little bit, but... He's still got his nice strong bones in there that are helping him stand up straight. Remember when we used the Play-Doh without any bones in it, it just fell right over. Your bones help you stand up straight like this. If you didn't have any bones, just like our book said, you'd be a blob and you would just fall all over the place just like the Play-Doh did. So this is just a fun little experiment that you could maybe you could try to build a Play-Doh person. You could try to build one without any bones and see if he or she can stand up. And then when he or she falls over, you could build your Play-Doh person with bones inside. You could use maybe crayons or pencils, or like I said, pipe cleaners. Just see what you have that something that is straight because our bones are straight and something that's strong enough to hold up something like a leg. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our story and our little skeleton demonstration. All right, have some fun. Bye.